Yeah. Go ahead, finish, finish, baby, when you get back on. Man, yeah, that's man. Mm-mm-mm. Sorry about that, you guys. It gets so good. I didn't want to break in the middle of there and say anything. Go ahead, honey. Finish. That was powerful. Yeah, I was just, you know, and I and I I'm not gonna be too long, but I was just, you know, saying how, and that's the thing here. Um, and that and I love that because the Lord said, I didn't send you. I didn't send you there. I didn't tell you to go there. In fact, I, I didn't even tell you to say that. So when I read that, I'm like, you we got to make sure when we're doing the work and the will of God. We take self out of it. Mm -hmm. It's not about me. I'm so insignificant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it ain't even about me. Mm -hmm. And so we got to make sure. And if we know that it's about God, we're going to be preparing and we should be living our life in a way to where God's spirit can just fill us up and move when we're mm -hmm. out there. You right. know, um, we got we got the word built up in us that the word, the, the Holy Spirit can draw from us because we've been imparting the word in us. So we got the word in us. So at that moment, whatever the Lord has us speaking on and, and we're out there witnessing, the Holy Spirit's going to give us utterance on what to say. The scriptures are going to come. So if you're not reading the word and depositing into you, what is the Holy Spirit going to have to draw from? Right. If you don't have nothing in the bank, you sure can't get no money out. If you ain't got the word inside of you, the Holy Spirit ain't got nothing to pull out. So mm -hmm. you got to be filling your, you got to be making a deposit. Right. So mm -hmm. my thing is, I don't never want to be in a position to where I'm out here moving on my own. I don't want the Lord to say, I didn't send you there. I didn't mm -hmm. even tell you to say that because if he didn't send me there, if he didn't tell me to say that, then who am I doing it for? Mm -hmm. And that means you're doing it for yourself. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, we just have to examine that, how we move. I don't never, but that was powerful when I studied that and read that. Mm -hmm. I'd never want to move without yeah. the Lord. Right. Holy Spirit, because that means it's just me. Right. So and this is, and I like that, honey, because this is some of the things that we're seeing as being, you know, with those spiritual eyes where you're testing the spirit by the spirit, you're trying the spirit by the spirit, you're doing the things that the Lord has built us up to do. You can see a lot of people are running for profit. A lot of people are running these buildings because they're lucrative. lucrative. A lot of people are running over here and there for this and that, for these different gifts or different other things. And it's, it's showing as the world get darker, the anointing is going to get brighter and people's intentions and actions are going to be shown. And I don't understand why people don't get that. Why people don't get that. Take this opportunity to get yourself really right with God. Now, let's go down here to the second paragraph. And I want some things I wanted to point out. Um, let me put T on the mute button. I can hear you guys. Okay, so, so this is one of the things. I wanted to point out was these men, they devise in wicked counsel and, and mischief amongst, you know, God's sacrifice, God's people would say it is not near. They are talking about, this is talking about his coming. See, these people are saying, was saying it is not near talking about the Lord's coming. Let us build houses. Let us get comfortable. The preach of mm -hmm. prosperity. Mm -hmm. You hear me? They're not telling the true, true word of God and yeah, what is happening. And what happens is, is the blind end up leading the blind and they mm -hmm. both fall in the ditch. This is this right here. This is the city that is the cauldron. See, the city is the boiling pot and we be the flesh. <laughs> All of them in there that's following them. Mm -hmm. Don't be in that hot pot. Yeah, he was lying to the people. Right. And this is, but, and, and I'm not going to just put it off on the people because we have a duty ourselves, which we told time and time again. Being in the word that we have a duty ourselves to get ourselves acclimated with the word. Just like Jesus tells us in John 8, 31, 32, if you continue on in my word, the truth will set you free. He didn't say continue on in no other man. Let another man's mind be in you. Right. So we have a shared responsibility in this. That's why it tells right here to try that spirit. There's a whole bunch of spirits that have gone out. There's a whole bunch of people have crept in unaware. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Anybody got anything else they want to say? That's enough, man. We'll let the Holy Ghost set on that. That was powerful right there. Very powerful right here. Powerful words right here in Ezekiel. And this is the type of words that we need so we can be able to navigate. 
as we see Ezekiel was looking from the carnal side and seeing the princess. But God told him another thing about those people that he see. This is why we need the Holy Ghost so we can be able to see these spirits. So we ask that if you have not given your life to the Lord, like we always say, that you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus on the third day, thou shalt be saved. Go and get baptized and do like John 3, 5, and 6. Jesus told us, you know, that man cannot enter into the kingdom of God unless he's been born by water and by spirit. That which is flesh is flesh. That which is spirit is spirit. That which is flesh, like we're born as carnal, is just that, it's flesh. That who gets born of the spirit is born of the spirit. They get to go on into the kingdom of God. And this is what our desire is, is to be with um, our Lord and Savior and our Father. Um, so you guys just, man, take this in. This is powerful right here. Even if you got to write it down and look at it later. Man, this is a powerful before, word right here. I'm sorry. Before we go, I want to make a quick, quick announcement. I know we're going to get cut off in a few minutes. So um, just want to let you know the home fellowship is going to be going forward. It will be in December, December 10th. Um, we've already sent out the invitations. Um, so I hope to see you all there. I've gotten some responses back already. It is friend, bring a friend day. So bring someone. So whoever God puts on your heart to bring, bring someone you've been witnessing to bring someone who, you know, the Lord's been dealing with them, bring them to our, our fellowship and perhaps you know, God can move them and, and speak to them and do a work and we can encourage them and, you know, just come on out to fellowship. So again, it's going to be friends day. You bring, bring a friend, bring someone, uh, or bring another brother and sister mm -hmm. who would like to fellowship. Mm -hmm. Praise God. We all encourage each other and we learn from one another. Praise God. So we're looking forward to that. We will be keeping in touch with everyone up until that point. Um, and then just checking in with everyone on that. Amen. Hey, it's it says man shall be in the spirit and by water. John three, five, and six. But what's the chapter? John three, five, and six. I'm, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. This okay. is Jesus. Okay, I got John three, five, and six. Okay. So okay, that's it. Okay. That's Jesus speaking. Right on. Okay, thank you, my brother. Right. Yeah, a hey, good, 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 uh, good study, man. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just absorbing it and just letting it sink and soak in, and then I'm gonna go back and read and read, and mm -hmm. I'll be, uh, you know, um, communicating here not not long, and you know, um, I'll speak to, you know. Like the other day, I just started talking and it just was the spirit talking to me. But um, I just want to, you know, keep learning and learning and learning right now. Amen. Amen. That's what it's about. We come together to build each other and we come together to sharpen each other. Not one person knows it all. There's no big eyes or little U's. We all come together and we come to sharpen and to encourage each other and to allow God to build us up in his word and and like I said, to build genuine relationships with one another, that's what it's about. So, brother, you keep on coming. God bless you and your family. Wow. And um, God bless you, Sister Lindy. Love you. Amen. Let me pray out. Let me pray us out. Dear Father God, we're thankful for this wonderful, magnificent opportunity you gave us, again, to come together and study your word. Not just any old word, but a powerful word, life-changing word for us to get to know who we are laboring amongst. Get to know who are admonishing us in you. We need to know who is encouraging us, Lord. So as we go this day forth, Lord, we ask that you just anoint our eyes, Lord, that you just open our eyes and allow us to see what thus says the Lord. We're thankful that the opportunities that you give us are refreshed and renewed daily, Lord, and that we continue to seek you and strive to be what you desire for us to be in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah, Lord. Amen. 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 I, Amen. Amen. I see you, brother Hi. Dev, coming on late. God bless Amen. you, brother. Yeah, God bless you too, God man. You. God bless you guys. You guys have a good one. All you right. Well. God, bless. God bless us all. God bless you. Good night.